if you are performing daily SCCM health checks, what parameters need to be checked? We will discuss those things in this session. Let us begin. So you can just start by checking the RAM and the memory uses of the SCCM site server. So you need to just right click on the taskbar and open the task manager. Then go to the performance tab and check the memory uses. Mostly it should be used by SQL processes. Here you need to ensure that the CPU uses is not 100% by any of the processes. If the CPU utilization is 100% then you might need to reboot your server. In the task manager you also need to check the processes tab where any of the process might be taking the huge memory. So like here you can see SQL Server Windows NT 64 bit is consuming the memory closely around 5 GB. So as per situation you need to increase your RAM also. Then the next part comes you have to go to SCCM console and then under monitoring tab overview system status and site status you have to check the site status if that is all okay or not. For any kind of failure in the site status you need to right click on the site system and just click on all show messages then from messages you will be able to know how it is failing and what is the cause then the next comes component status it is right below site status so you need to check if all the components are working fine or not then next you need to check the database replication status if any link has got failed between parent site and child site then you need to right click on that and run replication link analyzer and troubleshoot further the next you have to check the client health dashboard it will show you which clients are having client check failed error or how they are reporting to the SSM site servers so it will show you overall health then in the next step you need to ensure whether the SSM database backup is configured and enabled and working properly or not so you need to go to administration workspace then sites and then site maintenance there you need to check whether the backup site server is enabled or not the backup site server should be enabled as it is shown here next you have to check the content distribution status under the monitoring workspace that is monitoring distribution status then content status so SSM used to distribute many softwares and packages on daily basis over several clients so you need to check the percentage that is compliance percentage if you see here it is 100% if any of the packages has got failed to distribute then you need to troubleshoot accordingly so if you scroll right to the column then under the failed column it will show some of the failed packages that is the count is 1 then other packages have also got failed so you need to troubleshoot accordingly and you will find the troubleshooting video link in the description box and refer to the troubleshooting process there and the last check which we will perform is the software update synchronization status it should be completed ideally so here in the screenshot you can see it is completed so that is how we complete the health check of SCCM site servers through SSM console on daily basis Thank you for watching this video. For more such technical videos and technical solutions, do subscribe my channel and do post your queries and suggestions in the comments and I would definitely respond to those. You can also email me your queries and suggestions in the provided email ID in the signature card. See you in the next video. Till then goodbye. Take care.